Once upon a time, the Jolik Indians raided Thomas Matthews' farm because he didn't pay for his jazz. So when colonists retaliated and killed the wrong Indians by accident, large-scale Indian raids throughout the colonies were triggered. Enter Sir William Berkeley. Berkeley attempted to quell the tension with diplomatic meetings, telling colonists to foster friendship with the Indians. However, his plan did not turn out so well, as many tribal chiefs <coughs> were murdered. Instead, he began the Long Assembly in March 1676, declaring war on all bad Indians. This resulted in high taxes to pay the army and an unfair monitoring of trade, where long-time traders were no longer allowed to trade with the Indians, but, suspiciously, Berkeley's comrades were. Thus, there was controversy and colonial discontent. Enter Nathaniel Bacon, an angry Bacon accused Berkeley of playing favorites and of denying him his commission as a leader of the local army. So Bacon became elected as general of a separate local Indian fighting group, comprised of those upset with Berkeley. They drove away many Indian groups like the Pamunkey tribe, despite Berkeley's attempt to thwart him. Eventually, Bacon and his men demanded Bacon's beloved commission outside a courthouse, but Berkeley refused and said, here, shoot me before God, fair mark, shoot. After a scuffle with much threatening and screaming, Berkeley gave in to Bacon's ultimate demand to be general of all forces against Indians. Such was the beginning of Bacon as a rebellion leader. Bacon dominated Jamestown from July through September 1676 with his Declaration of the People made on July 30th, which stated that colonists had to swear allegiance to him and that Berkeley was corrupt. After several failed coups and general flimsiness, Berkeley's forces finally infiltrated Bacon's and Bacon needed to reclaim Jamestown. He made several failed attempts at siege, kidnapped wives of Berkeley's supporters, including Mrs. Nathaniel Bacon Sr., and burned Jamestown to the ground on September 19, 1676. His extreme actions led to a decrease in his support and an inability to control his men or capture Berkeley. The rebellion failed. All in all, Bacon's rebellion indicated that change was needed in Jamestown because its policies were simply not working. Though it foreshadowed the American Revolution a hundred years later, it ultimately was just a power struggle between two selfish, power-hungry individuals.